We're back and we're glad you were able to stay with us. We get it into the full court press. We talked about before heading out to the west side of the area to Lake Waccamaw. Let's do it. Gators hosting the Whitefell Wolfpack and we start with girls action from Lake Waccamaw. Whitefell on the road at east. So Gators jumping out to the early lead. How about Ariana Daniels? Let's get to the there. And then Daniels says, hey, I can do it one time. I'll do it again. She gets this one off the glass. White was out of position there on defense. Gives up three. But then here come the Wolfpack. It's Jasmine face on with the easy layup. She gets behind the Gators. That's East Columbus is out of position right there. Gives up the easy layup. So back out. And then in transition after picking off the pass, Ariana Johnson scores on the other end. Wipo would begin to pull away with this one. As you said, it was close early on, but the third and fourth quarter belonged to the Wolfpack. They win this one big, 47-29, the final score. In East Columbus, we go to the boys' side of things. The scoring gets going early here, and the Gators trying to make a statement all to Rex Simpson. It's a great take off the bounce right there. Getting to the basket, it's 4-0. Gators then down low, move the basketball top the key. That's the problem. You trap out of that zone, you give open looks, and apparently East Columbus is not going in tonight. In East Columbus, as we said, White Bull tried to make it I interesting. Pulled it within four here in the second quarter, but it's a big win for East Columbus. Hold on, hold on, Karen. We'll he wait. shoots this one from Dale Seafood. And he gets it to fall. Walk them all. East Columbus picks up the big win, and what a win it was for them. The Seahawks 49-40. As we said, East Columbus the winner over White Bolt. Let's go to UNCW now. The Seahawks hosting James Madison. UNCW women's basketball, that is a big time matchup at home. How about the Lady Seahawks here? JMU did not help there on that drive. Gets to the basket, layup. Get that one to fall, and then the Seahawks showing what they can do. Paige Powell at the right elbow, over the top to Gigi Smith. That was, what a pass. A, that was a little horn set, gets the pin down, one-on-one -on -one in the post. Play a little bully ball, Seahawks get it. But we know JMU, you know, being one of the top teams in the entire conference, they would get it to go, but here we go. 10 seconds left to go, Sharita Parker, right side wing, calls game. We're going to break this down a little bit later, but that was just too much space. UNCW takes advantage of that. One final shot there with 1.7 left to go for JMU. They can't get it to fall. The Seahawks, first time in nine years at home. They beat James Madison 66-63, the final score. And Nate, let's just talk about that game a little bit because what a win for Coach Barefoot. Great win. Uh, I was in years since she had won, uh, since they had won that game uh, against JMU. Uh, but tonight what I saw was just a you know, Seahawks team that just went and quit, just kept battling. They came out in the third quarter. Uh, they went on a big, JMU went on a big run. UNCW just kept battling, kept battling, kept battling. And I wasn't very impressed with JMU's defense, very impressed with UNCW's tenaciousness just to stay with it. Yeah, presidency, name of the game for head coach Karen Barefoot. Well, we will have much more of the full court press coming up for you all after the break as we'll hand out this week's Play of the Week. And Nate, you're going to name your game ball. We'll be right back.